So no matter what you're doing outside, remember this, wear sunscreen to protect yourself from sunburn and skin cancer. By the way, that's any time of year as well. Consumer Reports tests dozens of sunscreens every year, and Five on Your Side's Keely Arthur shares their top picks. The good news is there are several sunscreens that work really well, but as you'll find, there are also some sunscreens where the label does not actually deliver on its claims or it can leave your wallet empty. Whether you're going to the park, the beach, or a ball game. And there's a rocket right field and deep. Experts tested dozens of lotion sprays and sticks to ensure you're protected. We're looking at how well a sunscreen protects against two kinds of UV rays, UVA and UVB, which can cause skin cancer, skin aging, and sunburn. A top sunscreen lotion from this year's tests, Copper Tone Water Babies Lotion SPF 50, which outperforms formed its label SPF in CR's testing, but it might not be for everyone. CR's sensory expert found the lotion left a sheen and greasy film on testers' skin. User and Advanced Hydration Spray SPF 50 was the best spray sunscreen. Its average tested SPF came close to its labeled SPF 50. Sensory experts found it left a slight draggy film, though, on testers' skin. If you're on a budget, Equate Walmart Ultra Lotion SPF 50 is CR's most affordable recommended lotion, while Trader Joe's Spray SPF 50 Plus is its most affordable recommended spray. Remember, no matter what sunscreen you choose, how you apply it matters. For lotions, you should use about a teaspoon per body part or area not covered by clothing. And for sprays, apply enough that your skin glistens and then rub it in. Keely Arthur, five on your side. So a bottle of sunscreen should be good to use for three years, but make sure to check that expiration date because eventually they do lose their effectiveness. Uh, when your skin tone is essentially see-through, you go through the <laughs> bottle in a lot quicker than, uh, than three years.